Sorry for the late start here, ladies and gentlemen, but that is a massive wicket. Louis Bruce gone. Samir Nayak started, starts open the, opening the body for the Med Vikings. He's taken a massive wicket. He's stumped by his son, Man of Nayak, who's behind the behind the behind the stumps with the with the gloves. Incredible. That is a huge wicket. That is a huge wicket. Man of Nayak just pointing up here at the score. At the, at the commentator's box because uh, he was my skipper on the weekend against the MCC and uh, I, I took the gloves away from him. Matt Williams has just walked in now. Massive task on his shoulders. Incredible start this, incredible Med Vikings. You could see the way they celebrated that wicket. They know how big it is. They know how big it is. And and as I said, I said if Louis Bruce gets uh, Samir out, he would give him a send off, but it ended up working out the other way. Massive send off by, from Samir, massive celebration. And they're really up now. Look at them. Look at Med Vikings. They're up for this one. Inside edge, Matt Williams gets off the mark. Inside edge, down to the mid-wicket boundary, Samath Boda with the ball, clearing up. Giving it to Kenroy now. It's one over gone. Jamie Riley now being given the ball to take charge of this second over. Young left arm Seema. Got a lovely smooth action when he runs in. He's gonna be facing, he's gonna be bowling to Matty Williams. Here we go. Oh, it's a good start from Jamie, Jamie Riley. It's a well played that by Matty Williams in the end, opening the face. Ran that ball down to, to third to third man for two runs, I believe. Jamie Riley with a good good bowling, good line and length. Matt Williams with a big swipe. Try to go over the top early in this power, in the power play overs with the field in. Gets an outside edge down to third man for another run. So me and Nayak doing the clearing up down there on the third man boundary. Toss from Jamie Riley gets away with it. Dylan Henschel tries to use his feet, comes down the wicket ever so slightly. Can't get it over. The, oh, that would have been easy. No one on the leg side as well. Only the only at cow corner. Just Sam at water at cow corner. We all know what Dylan Henschel can do. We've seen him. We've seen his uh, batting prowess in the ECN. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, opens the face of the bat, big swing, gets it over, backward point, four runs. Just using the pace, opening that face, still a big bit of a swing, but he knows where he wanted to put it. Well placed, good shot. We know what he can do, like I said, we've seen him do it in the ECN, but needs to do it here, needs, it, needs to go big for his team. Doesn't have to get 150 like Charles Packard does, but he needs to get something big. Three figures, one would imagine, with help from the rest of his partners. Here he comes, Jamie Riley. Jamie Henshaw plays it well. Oh, Matty Williams picks up, great pickup throw. Stumps, oh no, he goes home comfortably, but come through for a single there. These 
two very, very important players. They were instrumental in the winning of the ECN title for the Sloggers. They're really going to have to come, come up trumps today. Going to have to bat for long, bat deep, as far as they can go to the 20 overs. If they, are, if they are there towards the back end of this, then they do stand a chance. But Jamie Riley comes in. Good line and length from Jamie. Matty Williams looking over the leg side. Looking over mid wicket, no one on the boundary down there. Only manages inside edge onto pad, dot ball to finish the over. It means that Lathbury Lightning end the second over with the total 11 for one wicket. Yeah, Nayak to the, the third, his second over. Third over the game starts with a dot ball. It's a good shot that from, from Dylan Henshaw. Good stop as well by Charles Packer. That backward point, deep backward point. Oh, sorry, backward point on the edge of the circle, diving to his right, gets a hand on it, stops two runs. Jamie Riley doing the clearing up for him. This is a really, really good competition. Samir Nayak, obviously a quality bowler. Left, quality left armour. Dylan Henshaw can go big. Needs to go big, someone would say. Does go big. Incredible shot down the ground, six run. Watch out the cars or watch out the houses. Hope there's no kids in the swimming pool. Actually, uh, one of our cricketer Helen Munford's house. Helen, can you please throw the ball back for us? Umpire is asking for another ball. That was a good shot. Samia Nayak giving it some flight, just slightly over pitching. Dylan Enshaw does have a good, some good reach there. It's a good, good looking cricket shot. Six runs. Another good shot that by Dylan. Slightly short there, rocking back. <clears throat> Another good cut shot, four runs. S brings about a slight field change. Response there. Dylan Henshaw just rocking onto the back foot, knocking it into short extra cover for a single. Just a small amount of 224 needed of 103 balls here. Just a slight delay as uh, Dylan Henshaw sorts out his kit. So me and I to bowl the last ball of his over. Matt Williams, nice looking cricket shot. Straight to Matt, straight to Whelan. Yeah, Whelan with a throw in, overthrows. Come back for the second run. That was sloppy. No one backing up till much later. It means they end the over with two runs with a two.
now Jamie Riley for his, sec for his second over and the start of the fourth. Dylan Henshaw on strike, standing slightly outside of his crease here. Oh, uses his feet, inside edge onto the pad. It's a dock ball, Jamie Riley's bowled well, he's bowled well, the young man, since he's been on. But I think Dylan Henshaw's just trying to look to use the pace here, although he was trying to muller that one out of the ground. Just needs to hold fire, use that pace, backward point, they still got no one there on the boundary. Exactly where I said he's gone big. One bounce four, comfortable. Just freed his arms, Jamie Riley, giving him a little bit of width, and Dylan Henshall taking full advantage of that. Four runs off the second ball of the over. one top ball beautiful I imagine Marav Nayak would is applauding because that must have looked really really nice from from where he's standing Med Vikings shouldn't worry boundaries are gonna come 20 overs it happens they won't, they won't be too comfortable though knowing okay. until Dylan Henschel while Dylan Henschel still there Oh yes, uses his feet, brilliant shot, makes it, turns it into a low full toss, goes straight down the ground. Classy stuff from Dylan Henschel. Straight down the ground, four runs, comfortable. Doesn't want to interact with his partner. Looks like he's got his head screwed on right now. He say, I'm going to be the man to take my team too close to this total and maybe over the line. Looking behind him now, looking behind him. Has the bowler picked up on that? Looking behind him, Manav Nayak, just with a slight field change. I don't like this too much, I don't like this too much. He's chasing the ball a little bit. Chasing the ball a little bit. Send someone down to Long London, Angel's got to ramp it. Ramp next ball. Oh, full toss, got to be a no ball. Just gets from bat on it, four runs. Just where the field's been changed. Bad ball that by young Jamie Riley. Seems to be struggling with some footwear or his ankle. Oh, it's shoe seems to have split yeah yeah just i think his shoe seems to have split and ah that's a terrible ball So as mentioned, it was exactly that. Jamie Riley with some pro with a problem with his footwear gives the batsman a chance to get a drink and all of us to have a little bit of a deep breath, a debrief. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Thank you, Harry. Yeah, well, I mean, Being called out here in my commentary. I'll see you. I'll see you when you when you commentating, Harry. Is it next week? I'll, I'll be right here next to you with the, with, the, with the scoreboard. Nice little break. Jamie's got some different shoes on. Let's see what he can do down here now. Dylan Henshaw looking to go big in this game. Lathbury Lightning, 39 for one. Slow ball from Dylan Henshaw, uh, from Jamie Riley rather, sorry. Dylan Henshaw goes down on one, on one knee, tries to slug sweep. Comes through for a leg by. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's good cricket this for Matt Williams. Doesn't have to do too much with Dylan Henshaw flying the way he is. Just gets a single for the last ball of the over. Doesn't want to do anything silly. Don't want to lose the wicket at this stage. Takes Lathbury Light to 41 for one of four overs. Current run rate is 10.25. Required run rate is 12.94. But as we know, not a problem if Dylan Henshaw's there at the end. Lathbury Lightning have a chance. Same as uh, Charles Packard. Need a couple of contributions from some of the other players. Matt Williams more than capable. Samir Nayak now uh, to come on for his third over. Continuing starts with a low full toss. Matt Williams manages to only pump it straight down to Kenroy, who needs the help of Matty Williams to do the clearing up. One big Lathbury Lightning come through for a single. Another low full toss. Only a single though, only a single though, straight down the ground. Can we do the clearing up once more? Williams on strike. Very nice looking cover drive, but only for one run. Matt, uh, Matt Whelan at extra cover, diving to his right, stops. And gets it back. Lathbury Lightning only four. Come through for another single. They need, they need boundaries. They need a couple of boundaries. Yeah. Well, watch from Dylan. Brilliant. Slug sweep. Four runs. No one on the boundary, short from Samir Nayak. Tries to bowl a quicker one, gets it, gets it wrong. Dylan Henshaw down on one knee, comfortable. Nice looking shot. Four runs. I think Lathbury, Lathbury Lightning need to be sensible here. They know Samir Nayak. This is his third over. He's probably the one of the best one of the best bowlers in in the in the side. Med Vikings and they just need to make sure they don't lose any wickets any silly wickets rather here we need to keep wickets in the in the hut looking there again now Fielders, no field changes close it up oh he's giving him he's giving him Big appeal, big appeal, massive wicket, might even be the game. Floated up by, Sam by Samir Nayak, experience, oh, using all of his experience. Dylan Henshaw, what have you done? Big, big appeal from, from the Med Vikings, umpire's given it. Looked to be a big stride there from the batsman, I don't know. Looked to be slightly leg side as well. but. Doesn't look too happy. Doesn't look too happy. and I a quality piece of bowling that it was a big appeal was a big appeal umpire did not hesitate did not hesitate massive wicket massive wicket could be the game but they've just got to keep pushing responsibility shifts now massively to up to Matt Williams still good start from AJ AJ the skipper new batsman in starts with a single gets himself off the mark 
AJ just needs to use his experience here as well. So this is interesting now we've got Kenroy to come on as the new bowler and AJ who has just come in batting without a helmet. Kenroy known for his short ball bowling but also can spray it but when the big man gets it right he gets it right he's a very good boat he could be a very dangerous bowler but don't take your eyes off this it could be could be very interesting is man of standing for an effect, or is it? never short of excitement when Kenroy's bowling Starts well, starts well, Kenroy. Bit, sh bit wide, but AJ tries to use the pace. Misses. Top ball. Yeah, slight field change. Samir Nayak down. Pushes himself using all his experience. Short. Oh, if he missed, if he hit, he was out. If he hits, he's out. Big chance there, big chance there. Let's good start this from Kenroy, two dot balls. Must be lightning, can't, can't afford too many more of those. Oh, uh, Kenroy, this is brilliant, Kenroy. Straight through AJ, absolutely smashes the stumps. Bales go flying. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Med Vikings, comfortable. Comfortable. Promise. Skip AJ. Leaves without troubling really. The score is only gets one run. Now we've got new batsman in is James Scott. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll try and keep you as entertained as we can. But this now seems like a little bit of a procession for yeah for Med Vikings. Just James Scott takes take me a little bit of time to get his kit ready. Don't know if they're going to be applying the timeout rule, one minute rule, timeout, timing him out. There is a chance, there is a chance, there is a chance if they, if they do appeal, I don't think they will. I wonder what they would do, if, I wonder what they would do if the game was a little bit tighter, Harry? Yes, yeah, he's, he's countering that. Yeah. Yes, there's not much batting left for the Lathbury, unfortunately. Just Matty Williams is the one that needs to go really, really big. Can, but can he go that big? Kenroy, this is the over. Good. I, as I said, when he gets it right, he gets it right. Kenroy can be very tough to get away. He started very, very well. No extras. No boundaries. No runs. Just three dot balls and the wicket. Very good, this from Kenroy, very good this from Kenroy, but you see the wickets, tough wickets to bat on sometimes, tough wickets to bat on, you see that one didn't, didn't get up, didn't get up above the knee row. Similar length to the last one. Really have to watch the ball here, really have to watch the ball. One ball left, first wicket maiden of the season. Yeah, good Kenroy, good Kenroy, excellent over, excellent over. Excellent over that from Kenroy. Med Vikings looking very, very comfortable now. Throwing the ball over to, I think, Samath Border. Doesn't get any easier for Labrie Lightning. Some quality bowling in this team. Yeah, it's nice to see they're giving some of the other guys a chance now. Let Samath have a 
play with the ball. Well, some of, one of one of their strike bowlers, really, one of their strike bowlers. But but yeah, you're right. It's, it's good. Always good when you're comfortable. I think in a match like this as well, it's probably a good idea to give everyone a, give everyone a go. And not so much just to give them a chance, but like everyone's got to be needed at some stage. It's a long old season, so everyone's got to be needed at some stage. So it's good for them to get some bowling miles under their under their belts and with a score of whatever it is 200 230 odd they can pretty much do what they like treat it like a training session from here on out oh not a, not a very good start back by summer wide why to start with Gotta be ready, gotta be ready, Samath Butter. Gotta bowl that first ball, can't come on and bowl a wide ball. Young man, come on, still a young man. Long way to go for Samath Butter. But plenty of talent there. Ah, oh, that's short. Oh, should have been put away, should, should have been put away, but hit straight to short, fine leg. Should have been a catch in the end, but put down by James Riley, father of Jamie Riley. Hit straight to him, but that ball deserved much more than what it got. Deserved a boundary. Deserved, deserved maximum, but a drop catch in the end. Samat Gordo with a terrible delivery. It's not started very well, has he? Oh, Yorker, third ball. Very, very good point there, Harry. 50 years up, but uh, seems to be like a graveyard down there on the Lathbury Lightning bench. Very, very quiet down there as Samath Border pulls up. Will be called a dead ball. straight here, batsman miss, I hit. Scott gets some bat on it. Oh, tries to go for a single. Can he get back? Oh yeah, he gets back. Just about, just about gets back. Don't think he liked turn. That turn seems to have injured himself in that turn. Yeah, massive limp now. Not good that, not looking very good. Should have been a single, I thought. Matty Williams just sent him back. Wow. Not looking for it, not looking for himself. And now James Scott just slightly struggling with it with, with his knee. Hopefully he'll be all right. Carry on. Seems to be taking his guard. What can he do here against Sam Akwada? Yeah, has a big swing, but goes in the uh, no top edge. Falls in front of Samath. Dot ball.
Bowler Free Lightning at the end of the seventh over. Uh, 51, 51 for three wickets. Three very big wickets of Dylan Henshaw, Louis Bruce. And one more. Oh, AJ, and AJ. Oh, and that other guy, yeah. And, and just as the skipper, AJ. Yeah. As Matthew Williams plays Kenroy's first ball down to fine leg boundary for one run. I'd say this game's finished, isn't it, Harry? Mathematically? Yeah, yeah, but there's still quite a lot to uh, play for in terms of getting players into form for the season. And the net run, net run rate as well. Net run rate as well can be a big. Can be a big get a go. Batsmen that don't usually get a, get a go should get a go today. I'd love to see Zach Simpson out there, see what he can do. Um, so yeah, be interested. But yeah, I think in terms of the, the match result, this is a, a done deal. Can't really. It's not easy to win a 2020 match when the uh, opponent has a player scoring 158. Yeah, difficult. They dropped him. They dropped him many times. Did they three, four chances? They gave run, two run out chances on on his end, two catching chances on his off his bat. I think two yeah. or three maybe. Yeah. When they weren't the toughest of chances. And the one that went to um, the one that went to Matt Williams. He, he couldn't see it. He didn't see it. Yeah, Matt play. Williams. Yeah, he's, he's taken he's ta and he's taken some brilliant catches. He took some brilliant diving catches in the ECN, one-handed, he doesn't drop many, yeah. he's obviously affected by the sun unfortunately. Ah, Kenroy, Kenroy's on the money today, straight on the money today, hasn't had a, didn't have a bat, wasn't required, when, wasn't required in the batting department but coming up trumps here in the bowling, full and straight as I said what Samad Bode should be doing, yeah. just full and straight on those wickets, James Scott not really looking like a like a full-on batsman. Just he, 10 kilometers an hour quicker than the batsman's used to, I think. Yeah. Uh, and uh, just couldn't couldn't catch up with it. Anything straight was in danger of hitting those stumps. Is this Roshan? Yeah, now new batsman in. Mohammed number nine, Mohammed Roshan. He can, he can hit a ball, he can hang around, but I don't think... Uh, I don't think he's got 100 in him, but uh, maybe. You never know. Surprise us all, Rush. Well, you can you can hit a big ball. He's hit me for six before. Well, we've all done that. <laughs> You're not too wrong, Harry. You're not too wrong, eh? And here just sorting some bales, sorting the bales out. It's quite windy out there, a little, you can't feel it too much, you can feel quite cold up here but it's quite windy out there in the middle. I see some shirts flying about. The sun is still, still out, still out. Starts off with a dot ball, Matt Wheeler at very short catching cover position. Loves his dive, old Matt, Matt, Matt Whelan, doesn't he? Yeah, Med Vikings will be trying to get this finished before the uh, shade reaches the square there in the middle. So they've got about 15, 20 minutes, I reckon. Good boy, and that from Kenroy again. Do you think that's a, a game within, it, within, within itself? Could be. Could so they're be, playing a game, a game against themselves. It's a lot colder in the shade, so those, uh, those fielders out there on the off, on the on side are happiest, like Lamin, braving it down here on the leg side in the shade. Oh, he seems to be quite comfortable, look at him. The laminator, oh, he's I actually, found a strip of sun actually to be fair. I actually played golf with uh, with um, with Mike yesterday and with Louis Bruce, who plays for the Lathbury, who plays for the Lathbury Lightning. goes over mid wicket and Reyes comes round from long on round to cow corner to 
covers the ball, two runs added to the total for Lathbury Lightning. So yeah, just a quick point on Mike Glamin. Played golf with him yesterday. Uh, stood on the first tee box. Never played golf with him before. Uh, stood on the first tee box and he took about 12 shots, 12 to 16 shots to get in on the first hole. I thought we were going to be in here for a long day. Next three goes goes past the next three. So yeah, some would say. As Sam, as Sam runs in, he handles another dot ball. Matt Williams with a massive swing across the line completely misses it. Yeah, so I was uh, astonished. I think he probably beat me at the end of the day as well. Once again, now you, got, you, you can say we've all done that as well, Harry. Yeah, I know. Well, but <laughs> quite an interesting thing. Literally, it took 12 to 16 shots on, on the first hole. And then went and pod the next three. Incredible. Oh, Sam Athbora with a slow ball bounce though, or maybe stuck in his hand. Lapping Lightning come through for uh, another single. Matt Williams on 10 or 14 balls. I mean, he might as well just bat for long here, try and get his team up to as high a total as possible. He can go big, we've seen some big sixes off that bat, off Matt Williams' bat. But now he just needs to try and get his team up to a, a higher total as possible. Just work on that net run rate, get some miles in the in the legs and not bat. And that's what another dot ball to Armand Russian. Everything seems very comfortable. 20 over game, they've got two catches, three catches, maybe four catches in place. Something that you don't really see too much, Harry, in, the, in this format at this time. But when you're dominating, I mean, you can do what you want. You don't want to try and get those wickets early, as you said. down to them but not being particularly aggressive once he gets there. This is comfortable for Sam I think he should this is good practice for him as well to make sure that they're not um, that he's not coming off that not too many runs are coming off his overs. Yeah. He should be dominating these batsmen I think. Yeah the situation is well getting away the back on. Well, remain on rather seems that way yeah, yeah I mean yeah. be a brave captain to take him off after the way he's been bowling. Yeah, and Ken Roy's bowling well, it's best to keep him on. Two overs and two wickets for two runs so far for Ken Roy. Very nice off the bat, but manages to squirt it, squirt it over, back past over the bowler, and come through for a single. Lathbury Lightning 59 for four. I don't think we would have expected this at the start of the day when we saw the three, four names in that batting lineup for Lathbury Lightning, but there you go, that's cricket as Kenwell bowls a full toss on the hips. Get it away for uh, I'm just to get it away for one Mikey Lamon doing the clearing up on the deep square leg boundary. Yeah, I know it's uh, unwinnable, but they got one to do there. Obviously. Yeah, it's important still. Big ten overs, eleven overs still to go. I mean, chance for someone to maybe put, put in a put in a shout to got the batting order in the next game. Mohammed Russian big swing. Yeah, it's difficult to throw it in as well there, throwing it from the back of the point. 
boundary into the into the wind back into the keeper. It all seems too comfortable now. I think Lathril I think have lost complete faith in what they're going about, but they need to set a game plan here, still try and get as many runs as they can. Just go down with a whimper. As Hattie Williams goes tries to go big into the wind though. Andrea is coming around from long on, covering. Batsman come through for two runs. Yeah, easy two. Yeah. yeah. Bit more than any doubt about it. Henry's ball really, really well. Still, still single figures off his bowling. Bowled nearly three overs now. This is the batsman going for those more aggressive shots now. What's needed, obviously. Big swing, big swing and a miss. Matthew Williams trying his best to free his arms, but just maybe trying to hit that too hard, taking his eye off the ball. And I think now. Head Vikings are throwing the ball to Wheels, Matt Whelan. Whelan gets wickets, we saw that in the South yeah. uh, Bay Giants. Off, spin, well. off spinner plays for the national for the national in the national squad, plays for the national team. Had a couple of injury problems, but it looks like he's come back strong. Had a net session with the squad the other day, but the ball seems to be coming out really nicely. Fought for him, get some nice flight and dip. Can use this breeze and get some drift. As they set their field, the usual offspinners field more or less. Deep back to a square leg on the boundary, cow corner on the boundary. Oh no, he's got the two men straight up for Mohamed Roshan. They can do pretty much what they like at this point. Yeah, it straight. Straight to Sam. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Samir Nayak out there. Still getting angry. Mid Vikings, they need to. That's good. They need to keep their standards up as well. Even though they're going to. This is a definite win for them. Samir Nayak shouting at Sam at border. They changed the field specifically for that. Brought him up for the boundary to stop the single. And he just let them get the single and now has to go back to the boundary. Matt Williams is on strike. Uh, that's right. yeah. Good that from Wheels again. Wheeling, pretty good. Uh, I think that is there, isn't it? Yeah. Bless him. That's why he hasn't called today, probably. Poor old Rich. Tight start from Matt Whelan. Just two singles off the first two balls of the silver. Just a bit short, wide. Deserved more than needed to get hit that by Russian. And so when he needed to free his arms just to dot ball. Short and wide. Could have put it anywhere on the offside. This is it. Oh, better from, oh, better from wheels. Better wheels. from wheels. Yeah, better length. Better length from wheels. Using the wicket, ball's getting on. Big swing from Ahmed Russian, top edge goes spinning with the with the wind. Samir Nayak can't get to it, chasing it. When I say chasing it, I say power walking towards it, trying his best, but. The ball going away with the wind and the spin for four runs. Matty Whelan Ooh, the last ball of his over. No, one more white ball. Short again. Oh, but that's what you, that's what happens. That's what happens when you don't watch the ball. Mohamed Russian, head in the air, swinging across the line. I mean, he could have swung across the line, could have put it anywhere on the leg side. But yeah, the worst ball wheel and fold, dragged one down. I mean, there were there were a few terrible deliveries in that over, I must say. But <laughs> that's harsh. But fine. Yeah. Well, that's got to set your standards high in the Gibraltar national squad. That's what we do for ourselves. Here don't like bowling bad balls. This is what we've been waiting for. And now uh, everyone's cup of tea. 
and um, the Duracell bunny as we call him Zachary Simpson coming on probably has to ask the batsman which side he's supposed to stand on as you can tell as you can maybe, as you can hear a lot of fans in the house for Zachary Simpson tonight I mean he's a gen gen general genuine nice guy and we all want him to do well loves playing cricket Bowls his leg spin wasn't needed today he wasn't asked to bowl I mean we were talking about it before Harry could have, could have been thrown the ball Richard Zach Simpson could have been thrown the ball Chris Batten coming on now to bowl starts off balls in the air off, off the edge of the bat Matt Williams yet to come through for the two Mikey Lamond in the clearing up there Slight leading edge that was. It was floating up into the air over James Riley's head. That's when come through for two runs. Chris Batten, this is the first I've seen of him. Probably his first match in a GPL tournament. Seems to be alright. Right arm over the wicket. Wicket to wicket, a bit of a dart that ball. Matt Williams again, another inside edge through, through, through mid wicket. Two, sorry, two mid wicket comes through for one run. Zachary Simpson on strike now, and he just to push it into. Oh no! What have they done? Matt Williams run himself out. Great work by Manav, he's uh, batted that ball onto the stumps yeah, I think. But. It was very good work that by Manav, don't know about the throw from Kenroy. Manav just managing to push the ball with his, push the ball onto the stumps in time. It means Matt Williams is out now, run out. And that means the uh, new batsman in is Sajan. And that's a, another good ball straight down straight through the defenses of Sajan Singh who doesn't trouble the scorers oh. leaves with golden duck for Sajan leaves facing one ball on his first ball golden duck yeah. quack 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 that's unlucky he'll be okay he'll have a good season I've seen him in the nets he can, he can bat a bit yeah so. he's, I think he had, a, he had a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a tough time out there in the field standing up fight at fine leg a couple of drop catches in the game but yeah. he's known he's, he's more of a bowler more of a bowler just not used today I think uh, hopefully gets used more after Lathbury Lightning's performance today with the ball obviously being put to all parts of the ground yeah hopefully he'll have a better season like throughout the season yeah. get more of a chance with the ball and show show what he can do with the ball still a young man I doubt he's had many plenty chances of chances out there with the bat that's probably a good experience even if you're out first ball you know Got another young man now just walked out to the crease, Alex Sawyer. I saw him bowling before, he bowled really well. It was a bit unfortunate to go for a few runs in his second over, but there were a couple of good shots in there, a couple of ramp shots, one massive six out the ground. That was the only bad ball, I think he bowled in 12 balls. But here he is with the bat now. He has to play straight. Oh, this is the ball, he needs to keep playing straight. He's already done better than Sergeant. But Okay. Alex Sawyer. 
go, Alex, just watch that ball onto that back. Doesn't matter if you, get, if, you, if you face a few dot balls. At this stage, the game's gone. Just try and get a few miles into, into your legs of, for batting. Something that he's not usually expected to do, batting lower down the order is Alex, but it will be good this for the young man. He's got plenty of time to bat. Still eight overs in the game. Try and get up, try and get himself up to about double figures. Yeah, hundreds of target now. Even if he gets ten off, left say three, twenty-five balls, thirty balls. Get to a hundred. No problem with that. Just spend time at the crease. Right, Zachary Simpson on strike. Lathbury Lightning, 75 for 7. 12 overs gone. James Riley to bowl 13th. Starts off with a dot. Zachary Simpson pushes it away and says, no run to Alex. Alex didn't move an inch. Just a slight change in the field now. Mikey Lamin coming from square leg over to a catching position gully shot that from Zachary Simpson through the covers is he going to come back for two should yeah. should come back for two does come back for two cleared up by Charles Packard on the boundary shot it would be nice to hear the, the batting team encourage these people out there a little bit I know the game's gone but Guys are doing a little bit of a job. See another two, maybe. Zach Simpson's quick. Should come back. Yeah, good from Zachary. Good from Zachary. Two twos. Good running that from Zach. You can just see on your screen, hands behind. Sammy out. Some of knows his game's done. Wasn't needed, with, wasn't needed with the bat today. Oh, full ball. Zachary Simpson leaves his crease, misses it. Keeper misses it too, goes, goes away for four runs. Umpire calls four buys. Fielder in pain there, limping as he chased it. Zachary Simpson gets some bat on that one. One run. All very comfortable this for Med Vikings. James Riley, last ball of his over. Alex blocks the ball, top ball. So the current run rate 646, required run rate 23.43, which I now believe should really become obsolete. No way they're chasing this. Just about giving, getting a bit of experience in now for the batsman. Zachary Simpson, five runs of six balls, done well. Tries to nurdle that round the leg side. Chunky noise from here. Appeal for LBW, nothing given. Top ball. Yeah, it's good. Everyone getting some bowling under their belts for Med Vikings. Chris Patton has done really well. 1.2 overs, one wicket, three runs. Stumping chance, man of Nyack obviously not usual keeper, not usually a keeper. Standing very far back. Chance for a stumping, but stopped it. Oh, caught him all chance, put down. Chris Patton should have taken that. That should have been his second wicket. Zachary Simpson just pushing his hands out in front of him, ever so slightly going hard hands in front of him. Go, popping, order, popping, a cat, popping a catch back to the bowler, bowler puts it down, Chris Patton will be disappointed with that one, it's been a good over so far. On the way for a mate, 
no? One more ball? Yeah, no runs conceded, no runs conceded, but he could have had that wicket, could have had another wicket. Uh, this time he's gone, Man of Nayak doing a better job with this one. Zachary Simpson probably taking a few steps further this time, not being able to get back on time, stumped. Good work that from Man of Nayak, he's not, not a keeper as I mentioned, he's a very very good leg spinner, very good all-rounder. He's obviously standing a little bit further back, he was still further back on this occasion but this time Slightly Donny-esque in terms of as he's walking forward to the stumps, he collects the ball and in one motion takes the bales off, takes the stumps off, takes the stumps up, pushes the stumps down rather and gets uh, Med Viking, gets the eighth wicket for Med Vikings. Lathbury Lightning are now 84 for eight. And we're hearing they've only got to 10 batsmen. With 14 over is gone. Rich Hatchman has gone home. Well, so oh, one man more to come. That's unfortunate. We, we wish him well, and hopefully we'll see him back for <coughs> Laugh Me Lightning's next game. Excuse me. So now we've got uh, James Riley to continue. Med Vikings need 164 of 36 balls. Mathematically possible, but. Appeal here. Madam Nayak thinks it's out. Massive appeal. For a court behind. Good take. Great take. Alex Sawyer did not move an inch. Umpire didn't. Umpire the same. But out. Uh, good from James Riley. Good length. For Alex, inside edge yeah. down to deep square leg. Sam Samir Nayak doing the clearing up brings Richie Cunningham on strike. Richie Cunningham, good old Richie Cunningham. Uh, we all love him. Always does uh, every single person. We all love him. I mean, he does uh, plenty of good work for Gibraltar cricket behind the scenes. Plenty of uh, coaching. He sets up all these cameras and all this camera work and. He does do a good job. Uh, Loved by most. Loved by most. There you go. If not by all. Yes. <laughs> yeah, good over that from, from James Riley. He's bowled two overs. Now Andrew Reyes didn't do much with the bat while he opened the batting. Didn't come off today with the bat. Probably will be opening the batting for most of the tournament. Always given a chance and he always does produce in these tournaments but didn't produce today. But can he do something with the ball now at the end just to pick up a couple of wickets? Finish this game off for them. Both stump to stump as you've just seen there. Alex Sawyer does well, prodding forward, forward defensive. Andrew would have won a couple of wickets now. Oh, that's what he wants. That's what he wants. Stump to stump. Full and straight. Andrew 
uh, stops with two dot balls. There you go, Andre has done it, both straight, get the wicket, Alex Sawyer this time opts to go back to a very full ball and misses a straight one and that's the end of the game with Ned Vikings having won this very comfortably. So now as the players walk off, that's the end of the game, for the end of the game, match result, Med, Med Vikings have won this very comfortably by 160 runs. Lathbury Lightning finishing 87 all out of 15.5 overs. Richie Cunningham finishing not out. Been a difficult one this one for Lathbury Lightning they would have probably expected to do better in this first game obviously some big guns brought in brought into the team but it's a long season they shouldn't worry they've got some good opportunities and some matches to come where they can show what they're made of and kind of come back from this and for Med Vikings it's very good work obviously a very good start to the season for the man of high now the skipper just walking off with a big smile on his face Char followed by Charles Packard obviously scoring going big very very big today 150 plus in his first game we saw some some terrific shots from him we had some we had some terrific shot we had some terrific shots man I'm like very happy just slating me for the taking more stumpings than I have but as you can see a very happy team in Med Vikings Lathbury Lightning will be good to pick themselves up. Thank you very much for joining us and hope you join us for tomorrow's game between uh, between the other two teams. Between the other two teams, Kalpaja Kalpa Giants and Harding, 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 Harding Hurricanes yeah. for our second match of uh, GPL 2024. Thanks for joining us and good night.